now the next thing which we want to implement is our screen so let's come inside our screen and create a user screen in this video we will basically make the ui component of our screen so first of all very quickly let's just remove the class and change it to a function annotation let's change this to a function and let's annotate it with add the rate composable annotation so that it is converted into ui part now the first thing which our ui screen will require is our view model so let's have a val view model this will basically extend our user view model and this thing will be provided to us by coin so let's get our coin view models that's typically what we want okay we are facing some sort of errors let me have a look Yeah, this is what we want. So the next thing is like a val which is going to define our UI state. So this is a val UI state. This will be provided to us by declaration of view models dot UI state dot collect as state. Since this thing was the flow, so we are trying to collect the flow here, right? So we have these two things implemented. Now what we want is we want to have a scaffold. That scaffold we have a basically a top bar and inside that top bar we will have our Kotlin demo application name. You can skip this thing if you don't want and we will have a refresh button at the very top. Then what we have we have a box and that box will def definitely store our data and it is going to show us depending upon our use state. Like if our use state is in loading then we want to show some sort of loading screen. Then if we have it is success we want to show some different thing and if it is something in error then yeah we will show some different thing so the ui part for this is like to be simple but the success state like when the situation is in success then we want to display something now that can be a little bit of complex for you guys but don't worry i will explain you in as simple way as, as possible so the first thing is i want to have a scaffold inside the scaffold what we can have is a top bar so let's have a top bar and inside this top bar the ui component which we want to place is a top bar as preferably and let's have the title and the title should be inside a text let's import text make sure to import the composable one yeah this one right and let's say it as coin demo application that's pretty much i want Yeah. so we will have this thing as a text and then we will have some sort of actions like this thing should basically perform an action so let me have an action the action which i want it to be performed is to refresh the stuff so i will have an icon button over here let me have my icon button inside this and this icon button will perform something upon click and what this thing is going to perform upon click is like it will go to my view models dot load users so it will simply go to my view models and it is going to load the users from me okay i can see there's some sort of error let me resolve this thing i can see i have implemented my view models over here then let's opt the experimental api okay I have this private function okay this thing is private that's why it's creating a mess let's make it public and then you can use it over here i guess view models dot load users so we have loaded the users whenever i'm going to tap that particular refresh button from the top bar i'm going to load the users so this is how i'm going to do it and then i want to have some sort of icons for my icon button preferably let's have a icon that's the icon should be like let me tell you icons dot defaults icons dot default dot let's say refresh and we shall have a content description the content description would be like refresh so that is pretty much we want from this thing and what we can do is factor the code to make it a little bit of looking good like this thing is 
was a mess now it looks good to me now let's get inside the scaffold and what i want to do is first of all i want to store the padding values inside lambda then i will pass that padding values over there so this was my lambda and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a box inside this let's have a box and this box is basically going to have some sort of modifier first of all pretty obvious let me have the modifier the box will have a modifier dot padding and padding would be like similar to the padding values make sure that you import this modifier compose ui it can create a mess if you don't import the wrong one okay so we have this modifier set up and what i want is to fill the maximum size first of all let me have the modifiers then i can add something like dot fill the maximum size then i can have some padding values now the thing is like i have a condition like this was my box let me see where it is closed yeah, here now again let me refactor the code yeah this thing is good now the thing which i want to implement inside a box is when i want to have a when block and when the val state is the ui state and when my state is in like loading when my user state is in loading i want to show something what that thing would be it would be a circular progress bar so let's have that particular bar over here i want to have a yeah this one circular progress indicator so this thing would be very simple let's provide it some modifiers modifier dot align i want to align this stuff i want to align it to the alignment dot center yep that's what i want i want to align this thing in center now this thing is over now this was a stuff which i want to do when my situation is in loading now i want to do something when my condition is in success so when i am in a success state i want to display something whenever my user ui state is in success i want to do a particular thing and that is I want to show my user list. Let me have it. I want to show the user list, and that user list is basically going to take users as an input. Now, what is this user state? We are going to create a user state UI over here. And now, what happens when we run into some sort of error? Now, we don't want to show a simple text. I want to have a dedicated screen. Which is going to show when I run into some sort of error. Now let's try to make this thing. In the next video, we are going to cover this UI component for the success. In this video, let's make the UI screen when we run into some sort of error. Now, whenever I run into some sort of error, I want to have a column. So let me have a column, and inside that column, I first I want to have some sort of modifiers, which is very obvious. Modifiers equal to modifier dot let's say i want it to no 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 i don't want this dot fill the maximum size and then what i want is some sort of padding the padding would be i guess screen dot density pixels import density pixels and then the next thing which i want to have is some sort of horizontal alignment horizontal alignment is equal to center horizontally which is suggesting me then i wish to have some sort of vertical alignment and vertical alignment would be also in the center let's arrange the arrangement remember that in column we have a horizontal alignment and a vertical arrangement but in a row we have this thing opposite we have a horizontal arrangement and a vertical alignment so this thing is like a little bit confusing but yeah you will get used to it so what i want to display inside this now i want to display a text inside this row the text would be text equal to let's say we can display the state dot message and we can just remove this stuff from here we can display the state message over here simply and what i want is like i can have some sort of style okay okay just a minute let's have the style the style should be equal to material theme style actually let's import the material theme material theme dot typography dot let's say we can use title large 
now this thing is done we have used the title large and the next thing i want to have a spacer let's have a spacer and the spacer i want it height wise so simply let's have a modifier modifier dot height the height i want is something like 16 dot density pixels then after what i want is i want to have a button which is going to refresh the stuff for me so let's have a button this button will simply refresh okay my bad yeah let's import the button then this thing is do something upon click that the text is like this will going to refresh the state for me yeah and one more thing like i can have a text inside my button the text inside my button should be let me just show you guys the text would be let's say retry okay great now our this screen is already almost and what we want to do from the next screen is we want to handle the success condition and actually what we can do is like when we run into an error state we can actually cut this thing off and we can put it inside a error screen okay and let's create a package over here inside the screens let's create a new package and name it as components so this is like a very good approach to do this thing and let's name it as error screen and this thing will do the work and just simply create a function yeah that's great and annotate it with Android composable now let's import all the other stuff what we want let's import column fill the maximum size padding and then what you want you want to import the alignment and arrangement and that's it now we can have our error screen and our error screen actually requires the state so let's provide it state let me see state equal to user ui state dot error and then this thing requires one more thing that is view models view models will be simply equal to the view models which we have declared so yeah this is our error screen okay this thing shows some sort of error the state should be equal to ui state which we have declared at the very top Okay, now this thing is over. Okay, we need to change the error state first of all. Let's implement this thing. Now it's all good. Okay, we can see some sort of error. Let's correct this thing okay what we can do is just remove all of this thing and just simply state it as the state yeah this is what we want it will take the state automatically whatever the state is like the state will be provided from the lambda which we already have okay so we have this thing set up now in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to make a dedicated screen for our user list so we can create something like over here let me see I can, I can see some sort of error over here okay the error is for a missing form let's refactor this code and then we would be good to go for the next video refactor then we can simply refactor this thing also yeah now in next video we shall work upon our user list so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you guys comment on this video guys. It literally takes hard work to make such sort of videos in such explanatory manner. Like 
it is quite hard to make such content for you guys and when you subscribe and hit the bell icon it definitely motivate us to bring such content for you guys so i hope you enjoyed it let's meet in the next video